Welcome to the video guys. As you all guessed, we are going to be dealing with the Labour MP and certified imbecile Dawn Butler, along with the dirty lying smear merchants that are Sly News and the media in general. In the last 24 hours, Dawn, Sky News and the rest of the mainstream media have been running around screaming about a police stop and search in Hackney involving Dawn Butler. That of course, being a black Labour MP in 2020 means it has to be because of the colour of her skin rather than the police just doing their job. As I tweeted yesterday, at the time it broke, when BLM bullshit is failing, you can trust a Labour MP to do her best to bring it back. Unfortunately for her, the video is so blatantly doctored to make it look like she is the driver at first glance and even claims her driver is black, though of course we cannot verify that and by the looks of the video, he is not even wearing his seatbelt which could explain why they was actually stopped. Either Sky News or Dawn Butler have blocked out the driver's face, so we will never know for sure, but really, the guy's skin colour does not even matter. The fact she's flipped the video suggests to me she is up to no good. Of course, this is not the first stupid thing Dawn has done. Earlier this year, she went on Good Morning Britain, claiming babies are not born with a biological sex. So, nothing she says should be taken seriously, unless of course you are Sky News or any other race-baiting fuckpig in the British media. Now, what I do find funny is, the day before this stop and search bullshit, it seems Dawn Everything Is Racist Butler had actually wrote an article for the Metro newspaper, talking about how she was scared to call the police and all this bollocks because of course the police are a racist lynch mob out to get poor little oppressed MPs like Dawn Butler here. I do have to say, it is a bit of a coincidence to me that she writes that article and the next day finds herself a convenient little race bait involving the police. Now here is the article from Saturday headlining, Black people should not be scared to phone the police when they need help, but I was. Now, we are not going to read it because it's worthless drivel that consists of a story that I would bet never happened except in her own delusional mind. But like I said earlier, her video that was used by Sky News is so clearly flipped it's actually laughable and the fact that 90% of it's missing and cuts off before the copper is really able to say anything in response to her crap shows just how disingenuous Dawn and the media have been, as you can see here. It's an interesting experience being stopped by the police on a Sunday in town. Oh, just spare me two minutes. Um, Run a couple of checks. Hopefully you'll be able to wait. I'm just going to take those just for a second. Okay, no worries. All right, just spare me a minute, all right? Yeah. Uh, two police officers. I am concerned about the reason for the stop. So that is what I'm. That's what I'm concerned about. So yes. because, you know, we should be able to drive wherever we want in no, London because we. You're not just contained to the area where you live. No, of so that is. So that is my concern. So, like, if you're just profiling people who are driving outside their area, I think that's a ridiculous reason to stop. No, I'm, I'm if you're profiling people who are driving a certain type of car, no, that's an inappropriate reason to stop. And if you're profiling people because they're cut of their skin, that's an inappropriate reason no, to no, stop. No, no, I'm a member of parliament. Yeah. So this is really quite interesting to me because yeah. I've been doing a lot of work with the yeah, police and stop the search and how the police are stopping the searching. Yeah. And actually the way you do it and the way you profile is wrong because what you do is you create an environment where... The video flipping is easy to spot since the body camera and radio is on the wrong side of his stab vest in the Sky News clip and the writing behind him is also backwards. Now, we could take our pick on which article to look at on this but they are all the same bullshit. So, we will look at the BBC since the public pay for that and they should do better than to promote this race baiting smear job by Dawn Butler and Sly News. As a matter of fact, complain to them about this and get them to print the actual truth. But the BBC article headlines, Labour MP Dawn Butler says racism led to police car stop, which obviously it didn't. The police have actually come out and said now that it was a mistake in putting in the licence number that showed up the car as coming from Yorkshire. Got absolutely fuck all to do with the colour of her skin, obviously. Former Shadow Equalities Minister Dawn Butler tweeted she had been pulled over in Hackney and had recorded the stop. The MP for Brent Central said police had to stop associating being black and driving a nice car with crime, which obviously they didn't. The Met said the stop was a mistake caused by an officer incorrectly entering the car's registration number as I said. Naturally, she called it racial profile in which what can you expect from Dawn Butler and Labour MPs at this point. We know that the police is institutionally racist and what we have to do is weed that out. We have to stop seeing black with crime. We have to stop associating being black and driving a nice car with crime, which once again is complete bullshit. The police are not institutionally racist at 
all, that is just fucking nonsense. And realistically, the BBC should be saying something against that, saying this is complete nonsense and not found in evidence or reality, as we all know. The BMW was being driven by a male friend who is also black, and it was pulled over by two police cars, Miss Butler said. Now, as you see in the video, there is questions as to whether the guy is black. Dawn Butler says she is. The rest of the world is saying he's not. Who actually knows, and not that it really matters, in all honesty, because at the end of the day, like I said, the video is doctored, and from the video footage, the guy certainly doesn't look black, though we could always be wrong. She said, officers said the car was registered in North Yorkshire and took the car keys while checking the registration, which obviously they have to do in case the driver tries to make off. That has once again got nothing to do with race, it's just a standard procedure for the police force. They then admitted there had been a mistake that it was registered to the driver and apologised, she said. But of course, Dawn Butler had to politicise it, which is why we're talking about it now. Her footage of the stop, which happened at about midday on Sunday, showed an officer saying police were carrying out searches because of gang and knife crime. She is heard in the video telling the officers it is really quite irritating, it's like you cannot drive around and enjoy a Sunday afternoon whilst black because you're going to be stopped by the police. So I take it every Sunday afternoon she gets stopped by the police because that is what she is making out there. She has been stopped once because of obviously a mistake and now she's claiming it happens all the time. She goes on to say, if you are driving outside the area, I think that's a ridiculous reason to stop. Yeah, I would agree with that, but apparently that's the laws that we're living under now, thanks to fucking bat flu, which obviously the Labour Party has fully supported the Conservatives in doing all they're doing, so she needs to shut her mouth on that one. Uh, the rest of it there is just race baiting, we're not going to bother reading through that, I'm sick of listening to her race baiting bullshit. One of the officers in the video tells her, I appreciate everything you say, and I do apologise for wasting your time. Chief Superintendent Roy Smith tweeted earlier to say he had spoken to the MP who had given me a very balanced account of the incident. Yeah, I'm sure she did. The Met Police officer added the force are listening to concerns about the police stop and the officers involved and she was quite entitled to raise them because of course the Met Police has to bend the knee. That is fucking ridiculous. The police officer from what I have seen has done absolutely nothing wrong and obviously he hasn't because if he had she would be screaming it from the rooftops a hell of a lot more than she has been. In a statement, the police force said, prior to stopping the vehicle, an officer incorrectly entered the registration into a police computer which identified the car as registered to an address in Yorkshire, as I said earlier. Upon stopping the vehicle and speaking with the driver, it quickly became apparent that the registration had been entered incorrectly and was registered to the driver in London. Once the mistake was realised, the officer sought to explain this to the occupants. They were then allowed on their way. No searches were carried out on any individuals. So, I am guessing her actually recording it and creating a big old fuss is what actually took up most of their time. The police stop probably would have taken about a minute or so at most if she would have just shut her mouth and got on with it as most people would. But we know, being a Labour MP, she has to race bait and of course she did her best with it. Apparently the original video is something like 8 minutes long, though I can't actually find it. The force said one of the occupants had been contacted by a senior officer and they had discussed subsequent interaction as well as feedback regarding the stop. It added, we would welcome the opportunity to discuss this matter further with the occupants if they wish to do so, because like I said, they are ready and willing to bend the knee. The statement did not explain why the registration was entered in the first place, likely because it's something the police always do. In the video, one officer can be heard saying the initial search returned a car of the same make, model and colour, but registered to North Yorkshire. Miss Butler questioned the officer, asking for the police to share the registration they initially searched for. She went on, it's exhausting doing things whilst black, she told PA. Yes, because if you are black, Earth gravity is 150% for you compared to 100% for everybody else. It must be so challenging being a rich and privileged black Labour MP, I actually feel sorry for you. This week, Miss Butler was named by Vogue magazine as one of the 25 most influential women for her support of Black Lives Matter protests, which doesn't surprise me, that is for sure. Of course, former Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott tweeted that Miss Butler's experience on Sunday was so unsurprising. Of course you would, Diane, you love a good race bait as well, as we all know. And that's the end of it there. The rest of it is bullshit about that last stop and search we had to deal with the previous race bait, which was also a load of crap. Well, I've got to say, it would certainly appear to me that Dawn Butler is talking a load of shit, and of course, the media are pushing it as you would expect. Now, before I end this video, I will say, maybe Dawn Butler should focus more on doing her job as an MP and looking after her constituents, rather than all this race baiting nonsense with piss-poor edited videos like I said. There 
there is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>